uh, starting at about 26 minutes into the stream. Um, I'll be starting test chamber 18. Yeah, as I just said. Now, right here, of course, is the, the easy part. Is nearing its conclusion. The enrichment Watch me center kill myself is here. required to remind you that you will be fed, and then there will be cake. Just portal across there. Um, we need to get over there by doing this. I always usually make a quick save here because it's very easy to miss and jump in the acid here when doing this. Portal over here. Okay. Um. I'm gonna portal over here. Okay. I'm also going to make a quick save here because I'm going to go back to this later. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. This was a uh, test chamber. Let's, uh, test chamber 18, 1900, 21 minutes and eight seconds. I guess I'll probably want to reload that again. Okay, now you need a cube to get through this door. So let me fling myself over here. The cube you need is inside this room with all the turrets, so I'm going to do this the way the game intended you to do this first. You want to go into this uh, evil room of hell. And there's um, the door will close behind you. How many turrets are there? There's four turrets. So this thing right there that's uh, shooting out those little energy particles, um, well, in this game they're called high energy pellets. So let's call that a high energy pellet dispenser. It's rotating around the room. So you want to use those high energy pellets to destroy the turrets. So just. Uh, Put a portal by one of the turrets, put a portal where it's going to shoot, and uh, just keep doing that. Until you've dealt with all four turrets. Actually, uh, Actually, Neo, uh, at least in Portal 2, the level editor refers to Emancipation Girls as Fizzlers. So this is not really a Fizzler. And it's not really Sizzler either. Okay, that was too high. Why am I not hitting that one? You know what? I should be using their laser beams as a guide as to where they are in the room. That's what I should have been doing. People used to call them these things were in half life as well. Okay, that was way too high for some reason. Sometimes I find myself hitting the right button because that is the zoom button in Portal 2, but that button does not exist uh, in Portal 1. Okay, that just missed somehow. Now, um, as you can see, I've killed all four turrets. The cube I need is over there. What I need to do next is activate the uh, moving platform, or what do they call that in Portal 2? The, or, well, it's, it's actually an aperture science unstationary scaffold. 
So the way you want to do that is you want to set up your portals so that one is there and one is there. And as soon as the high energy pellet goes through that orange portal, you want to quickly do this and press the button so that it goes in there, activating the moving scaffold thingy. Wait till it comes back. Ah, okay. I, I've never played Half-Life anything, and I don't think I've even seen any of the games, so... I had no idea. Okay, now this uh, scaffold thing doesn't actually take you to the cube directly. It takes you over here, because you cannot jump up and get the cube. You need to jump down here. Uh, this button will open up the door, and it will, it'll also make a flap, an, a flingable angled platform, with which you will want to fling out of. But it's timed, so you got to be quick about it. So I'm going to put one portal there and one portal there so I can get back. Then I'm going to press the button, run over here, put one portal on the flap, which is what I call a flingable angled platform, come over, come over here and fling yourself to get the cube. Wait for the moving thing to come back. Yeah, like there's a Half-Life 3, right? Then you have to wait for this thing to come back. See, this is a huge time consumption pain in the ass. Now, even after you've done all of that, the door is still not open. So I'm going to leave the cube there. That thing's going to move. I have to go all the way back and do that again. I, I suppose I could have tried to take the cube and dro drop straight down here, but that's a little bit dangerous, so this was a little bit safer. Okay. Duck, and now I can get out of here with the cube. Again, that was the way that the game designers intended you to do that. Um, now at this point, the cube is on the button, the door is open, Oops. and I just killed myself. That was really smart. Okay. okay, so now I have successfully made it to this section of the test. However, before we move on, I'm going to show you some alternate ways to do that uh, room. So let's load up a previous save. Let's see. If you knew you needed a duck to get through here, but you didn't know the proper button to press and you were hunting for, it would it be a duck hunt? Ha, 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 ha. Forte. <laughs> Song, I miss, I, I mistook your message. I, I, I thought you meant it the, make, the way you wrote it, which was you playing, not me playing, but whatever. Um, yeah, if there was a laughing dog. Okay, so there's another way to do this test chamber. We'll call this one Sorry Song, Sorry Smoke. We'll call it the YOLO method. The YOLO method involves doing this room without killing the turrets, 
doing it really fast and I might be killed by the turret. So what you would want to do is, is as soon as this door opens, you want to fling yourself over there. You'll be in danger. So you've got to move quickly. So now I'm over here with the cube. If I can pick up the thing without dying. Okay, let me make a save here. Okay. Now I have the cube. Um, I'm being shot at by turrets though. I need to make a very dangerous jump. I need to jump directly below me. So let's see if I can do this. Fall off just like that. Oh. Shit, 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 I almost dropped the cube. You need to fall off, like, moving to the right and then moving to the left so you actually land on this platform. Again, the, t the turrets are still shooting at me. Okay, I need a portal. Oh. I have no idea if that portal hit or not. I don't think it did. Okay, it actually did hit, okay. Press the button, grab the cube, and get out of here. We're done without killing the turrets. Um, but believe it or not, there is an even faster way to do this test, bypassing the entire thing uh, completely. Let's reload the save again. And once again, when I got all the achievements in this game on the orange box version, oh, I kind of loaded the wrong save, I guess. When I got all the achievements in this game on the orange box version, like that's this is the way you basically have to do it if you want to get the, the good time. Okay, so we're gonna break that test chamber even faster. All right, so how do we do that? Well, this is the this is the door. So what you want to do is, and I think I've showed this off before on stream, but I'll show it off again. This will be highlighted. You want to line yourself up so that your back is to the door and you're directly like in the center up with this line. You want to shoot a portal as close to the door as you can. Um, why this isn't should be shooting closer than that. Okay. Yeah, that's about as close to the door as it can be. And remember, you want to line that up with your back to the door. Now this is a sort of a difficult part. No matter what, you want to leave your blue portal there. So I'm going to have to fling myself without moving the blue portal. So it's kind of a a tricky maneuver here to make yourself fall into the blue portal, although I managed to do it there. Um, okay, so that's step one, leaving the blue portal there just where I said it was. Now step two is going to involve me going in this room, I'm going to shoot the orange portal on this flap, and then all hell's going to break loose. Okay. Shoot the orange portal right there, and then like jump and hump into it. What the hell just happened? Well, it's kind of hard to explain, but I basically shot the orange portal on that angled platform that I call a flap, and then I basically just, as I said, humped myself into it. You want to like jump towards the bottom of the angle, and the game will glitch and teleport you through the door into this room. <laughs> Song is completely flabbergasted. So. Using any of the three methods that I just showed you to get through that room, we've ended up here at the final part of the puzzle, um, which basically involves a series of uh, flings like this. Well done. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. 
For more information, please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. Now, I did that all in one go, which is actually pretty good for me. I usually don't do that. But in this version of the test chamber, you actually don't have to do that all in one go. You can, if you miss shooting a portal, you can just keep going back and forth in the air as you shoot the next one. Um, don't become disoriented or anything. And if you make it to this platform and you somehow screw yourself up, you can actually place one portal there and place another portal there, and you can actually jump from that platform to that platform. Uh, but if you don't make it to that platform, you will have to portal yourself back down to the bottom and try again. Uh, anyways, let's move on. So that was uh, test chamber 18. It's done.